Hello, this is Vince from Sniper Day Trading, and this here is the S&P 500 E-mini futures. This is a couple hours before the open. I'm just going to point out some of the turning points as identified by uh, this custom indicator that I use. And this is just a reflection of price. It's not necessarily the method. Um, it's definitely something that we still do use, but it's just to identify the turning points and continuation points within the price action that's going on on the screen. Um, this here is just right, probably uh, right at the open. Um, this could be taken if just as far as signal short goes. There's there is a signal short, and that looks like that would be a stop out, um, a small stop, four, five, six ticks. Usually, I've been running about five ticks, but when the volatility does get increased, sometimes it goes to six. But it just kind of depends. Um, so that would have been a loss. Next trade in here would have been right in there, and that would have been good. A lot of times I won't stay in the trade uh, as long as I could. Actually, the trade that I did take um, was like that today, too. This uh, down here, this could be an indication as an out, uh, as I've got it marked as an exit, um, and or there are, there's plenty of other ways to get out of the market um, based on the method itself. So. Here, there's a new signal long right in there, and I started following the market just right around in here. Just kind of missed that, but uh, didn't take this short, but waited for what I thought was a bigger moving, a bigger uh, target uh, upward prices. So this was the first trade there. That little yellow dot is actually where it entered. Um, not so much on the upside, but it actually posted it a couple of bars to the left, but sometimes it does that. But it's no big deal. Anyway, um, pretty good gain there on strength. Um, nice turning point here. And actually, I did see this. Um, I didn't want to not risk uh, not getting it, so I did get in at the market, um, and that was proved to be a good move because it moved pretty fast. Uh, this up here was a little continuation area right up there. Definitely higher. You can see there was a lot higher prices, but I was content with that trade. The last couple of sessions, I got stuck into trading about two, over two and a half hour, two hours, but uh, I just didn't want to have one of those sessions again today. That right there is a new turning point short. There's another little area right here. Pass on this long market is likely a little bit downside pressure right there for other reasons and. I won't really go into the method reasons, but here is a new turning point. And I did do a training video and called this um, little area right here was kind of somewhat pointing that out all ahead of time. Actually, the rest of these little target areas in here too. Up here was a continuation long. And this right in here could have been an okay little area for a short, a small short there. But the pressure still was on the upside. There's a little spot there short, a new turn long right in here. And actually, those do line up just exactly perfectly. And I guess I think you can see that here. This could have been used as an exit for this uh, this here and or and then re-entering long right in here. This could again, like I said, could just been an exit, maybe not necessarily a short, although the short would have worked out pretty good for a few points. Now that was a big, 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 big move. <laughs> that was a pretty amazing move. Looks like it was news driven, but um, nonetheless, uh, you can see this as it pulls back into this white, that can also be an exit for you as well. So that would have been right, actually right in there. So that could have been an exit and or color change can be an also an exit. Here, this is a pretty good little spot for a short. There's another little spot that happens pretty fast. These are continuation signals here, 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 there, there, and getting closer into the end of the day. Um, that could be an exit and or um, as it's breaking up above here. <clears throat> that was a pretty good move. And then the last one of the last moves, I think, here in the market, that little area right there. Again, uh, it's reading, it's being able to read the price, not so much read the indicator. The indicators are really only a reflection of what the price is doing. Uh, that dropped off pretty fast. That could be an exit, and this over here, that could be a new short, just based on that there as well. And that's what the rest of it looked like. So thanks for tuning in, Vince, Sniper Day Trading. Have a good day.